um, we just have to keep keep at it. It's frustrating. It's frustrating for everyone. <laughs> A rise in COVID-19 infections and a taxed hospital system, things we've been talking about for nearly two years, but a recent surge in COVID-19 cases has us here at WRTV wondering what conversations are being had at area health departments when it comes to mitigation efforts on stopping the spread. Our Caitlin Kendall is working to uncover the answer. Bottom line is vaccinations. I mean, we've, we're sitting at about 52% ages five and older in Madison County, and we can do better than that. With a recent surge in COVID-19 infections across the nation, Madison County Health Administrator Stephanie Mellinger pushing the need for their residents to get vaccinated. It's occurring in 95% of people who were unvaccinated. So those people who are in our hospitals, less than 5% are vaccinated. Madison County, like many counties across the state, are seeing a rise in cases, but what's being done to curb the spread? Remember to get vaccinated, wash your hands, keep your distance. Um, all those things that we've been saying for nearly two years, it's still important. Are you just saying get the vaccine as hospitals are continuing to filling up? Or are there any other mitigation effort conversations that Madison County is having? We're trying to communicate that very message. Look, our hospitals are filling up. Our healthcare system is taxed. We all have a role to play. Mellinger says communication is key. We are still trying to encourage people to wash your hands, uh, distance, uh, make sure you keep that safe distance between people. Uh, stay in your social bubble. Um, try to limit how many people you're around, if at all possible. Masking when you're indoors and around many people. We can't forget that. Adding they are still trying to share the same messages they were back when the pandemic began. You know, we try to remind people like, like, look, this is still this is still an issue with I guess more than anything, it's communication. She says they've been getting creative using social media to spread awareness, conversing with the hospitals and educating people when they come into their building. We just have to keep keep at it. It's frustrating. It's frustrating for everyone. Working for you, Caitlin Kendall. WRTV. We did reach out to several other health departments around Indiana asking that same question. What mitigation efforts, any, if any, are being done in response to the rise in cases? And we have yet to hear back. We will update you when we do. New information now. The CDC has officially authorized the Pfizer COVID booster shot for 16 and 17 year olds. Previously, only people as young as 18 could get that shot. The CDC director said today, while we don't have all the answers on the Omicron variant, data suggests that COVID-19 boosters help broaden and strengthen the protection against Omicron and other variants. At this time, only the Pfizer booster vaccine is authorized and is recommended for 16 and 17 year olds. And this tonight from the Fishers Health Department, you must now make an appointment for any COVID vaccine or booster shot at the Fishers Mass Vaccination Clinic off of 116th Street and Brooks School Road. So no more walk-ins there for now. The reason? The Fishers Health Department has a shortage of needles and syringes, so they expect the shortage to be temporary and will post an update once they can allow walk-ins again. To sign up for any COVID shot, you can make an appointment through the website ourshot.in.gov or by dialing 211. That's also where you can sign up kids between the ages of 5 and 11.